Welcome to another Nonsense Worth production. Today we evaluate the performance of train tires. Uh, this comes up less than the differential question, but still often enough. We have technically tested this many times doing train pulls, but not in a controlled manner. Lego makes two types of said tires, the thin hard ones found on small train wheels and the Technic rubber bands found on large drivers. We shall look at their performance on metal and plastic track. This first test chassis has eight small wheels distributed across two bogies and represents a small diesel like the GMD H1 or the HH1000. It weighs 354 grams and all axles are driven. With no tires, this chassis pulled 90 grams on metal track and 74 grams on plastic track. With eight tires, it pulled 135 grams on metal track and 122 grams on plastic track. This represents a coefficient of friction of 0 0.25, 0 0.21, 0 0.38, and 0 0.34, respectively. It appears that plastic on metal has a better coefficient of friction than plastic on plastic, but perhaps the metal also abrases the plastic. The hard tires also did better on metal, but not by as much. Do note that LEGO has changed this tire material at least once, and we're only looking at the latest material. The small wheel also has a new mold. Uh, these came out of a 6197. This second test chassis has four large drivers and represents a small steamer like the USRA 060. It weighs 303 grams and all axles are driven. With no tires, this chassis pulled 82 grams on metal track and 60 grams on plastic track. With four tires, it pulled 135 grams on metal track and 135 grams on plastic track. This represents a coefficient of friction of 0 0.27, 0 0.2, 0 0.45, and 0 0.45, respectively. Without tires, the large drivers performed just like the small wheels. This makes sense since they're made of the same material. On the flip side, the rubber band performed nearly identically on metal and on plastic, and better than the hard tires in both cases. The performance of the rubber bands actually change significantly depending on their cleanliness. When fresh, these tires can actually achieve coefficients of friction close to one. For this video, I tested very used rubber bands in order to better represent steady state performance. Uh, your mileage definitely will vary. Considering that Lego magnets separate at about 200 grams, there comes a weight where tires become unnecessary, about 800 to 1,000 grams depending on the track type. Of course, third-party couplers can pull uh, potentially a lot more, but before putting a lot of weight on a lot of tires, we should also consider curves. Lego trains generate a ton of friction in tight corners, mostly from the flanges scrubbing, but also from the hubs scrubbing. Tires can exacerbate the latter, as we shall see with this modified test chassis. It weighs 410 grams, and a medium linear motor drives all four wheels one to one. Very simple Pybricks code records the motor speed every half second as the chassis drives around a test track. 
plotting the motor speed for two laps for three configurations, uh, tires on both sides, tires on one side, and no tires at all, shows that tires on both sides slow considerably more than tires on one side or tires on no sides. Tires on one side seem like a good compromise, but this might result in a locomotive with different pulling characteristics when turning in different directions, which I personally find extremely undesirable. The amount of slowdown, of course, depends heavily on specific locomotive implementations, and your mileage will once again vary. As a bit of a counterexample, a modified two-bogey test chassis weighing 450 grams hardly slows at all because the drivetrain has more reduction and the tires have less grip. Finally, let's take another look at the train pull data, a lot of which actually corroborates the test results. For example, all the bogey locomotives with small wheels with tires and all driven axles have coefficients of friction near the 0.34 to 0.38 range. At least some of the outlier data probably has an easy explanation. Uh, for example, the BR24 might have had relatively fresh tires when it pulled 200 grams. On that note, this is the end of the video. Uh, please consider subscribing if you like what we do, and have a nice day.